Oh, hi. I'm back. Hooray, we did it. Uh, so my name is Stephen Fluin. I'm a developer advocate on the Angular team at Google. Um, so earlier today you saw awesome things about being productive, about being practical, real advice that you can go home and act on. This talk is not that. Today I want to introduce the idea of Angular for designers. And so I think first off, it's really important to start talking a little bit about uh, maybe a definition of designer. So I'm not going to be very specific here, just like I said. Uh, so I'm gonna, when I talk about designers, I'm focusing more on individuals who are more on the user interface and user experience side of things. So my goals today are twofold. First, we want to share that we care about designers. This is something that I, I think needs to be said because uh, if you don't say it, nobody knows. And so second, I really want to start a conversation. And so I'm going to throw out a few kind of initial ideas and some of the things that we've been working on. So I'm going to go through this in four sections. I first want to acknowledge some of the legacy. So uh, many of us come from an AngularJS background. Not all of us, but many of us did. And there was kind of a magic in the AngularJS world uh, where you could just start changing applications very quickly, and it made it really great for prototyping. I, I talked a little bit about the magic of AngularJS, and I, I kind of always come back to this AngularJS.org homepage. So how many people here, their first exposure to AngularJS was this page, and you're like, you typed something in the box, and it just showed up magically, right? That, that was really cool. There's a really common team pattern where uh, we'll see that designers, they build something, they build either a, a specification file or an interactive prototype, and then they hand that off to a developer. And so I want to talk a little bit about some of the goals of this initiative, Angular for Designers. Uh, so first, I, I think we should spend a lot of time uh, focusing on making Angular useful for designers. Second, we want to create more collaborative teams. And so I talked about this handoff that, that's really a big challenge. Third, I want to think about empowering design system authors. Uh, so if you have a design system and you, it's, it's a manifestation of your brand, which is really important, every time you have a product team go off and build something that doesn't look like your standards, Fourth, really making it easier to build these great experiences. And so if you're from the development standpoint, if we can make it easy for you to be building these things out faster. And so now I want to dive into a set of initiatives uh, where we've been doing a lot of thinking about this. We've been having several kind of early conversations. And so there's several directions this can go, and I, I want to explore these collaboratively with you. So this is a disclaimer. Many of, the, many of these efforts are not real. If you see something and you're like, oh, that's cool. I can't wait till that comes out. You have to tell us. Otherwise, we won't know that we need to go build these things or have the community build them. So these are not promises. Does everyone agree the not promises? All right, good. Uh, but we, it, internally, it's called CloudKit today. And so it's a cloud-based prototyping tool that uses real components. And so the idea is that you can create visually here a set of components on a screen in a hierarchy, and then you can apply all of the rules and kind of have the rails from that component hierarchy and that component library so that designers can't do things that can't happen in the real world. So I want to end with a little bit of information about how to get involved. Uh, this is pretty easy. I'm on Twitter, at Stephen Fluin, S-T-E-P-H-E-N-F-L-U-I-N. -E -E uh, and I definitely hope to hear from a lot of you because this is something that we care about. This is something we're going to be investing time in. Uh, and the more input you give us in terms of what you need and what you care about, uh, the, the more aligned our efforts are going to be to your needs. Thank you so much.